Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to the second part of you learning how to be absolute shit at photography with me, your host. Who's shit. Now, for real, guys, welcome to the second part of um my tutorial series of teaching you how to do false photography, editing your pictures, and in the process of that, what you have to look out for. In the first part, we were talking about the photography aspect of the in-game photo mode, so where you want the camera, where you want the car, what settings you want, and such things. And today we're going to cover the Lightroom editing. Now, I will do the whole process on the PC, but you can also do it on the phone. I will provide the links for the apps you need on your mobile device um, down below in the description. The <coughs> apps you need are Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store, um, and Polar. I'm gonna put both of those now on the screen. I will put both of those now on the screen so you know what those look like and how they're spelled and such. You don't need premium for any of those two programs. You can do it all for free and without paying a cent. I'm using the PC version of Lightroom here and you guys feel free to use either PC if you have it or mobile if you don't have it. Now let us start with the first part of the photography and that would be taking the photo. For this series I'm going to stick with the 1988 BMW M5 because it is one of my favourite cars in the game and to be honest it is quite beautiful. Now shall we start with finding a spot then put placing the camera and then doing the editing because I want to show the whole process not only the Lightroom edit part but the whole process so you can uh, follow me through the steps of the whole thing if you need the guidance if you don't go skip further further into the video to the Lightroom editing part so where am I where am I at now I will pop in a screenshot of the map real quick and show you where I am at now um camera placement somewhere exciting maybe we want the front of the car to be visible in this case I want the front of the car to be visible and move it look a little there so that the car is not centered and maybe raise it a little and move it forward so we don't have that fence in there which would be great now there we go just gonna quickly refocus the whole thing and we have the shot now what you want to do is you want your settings to be on the sampling on quality and not quick and take the photo when the photo is taken you don't want to go on you want to go back into the photo mode back not move anything just hide the UI and then take a screenshot don't do it normally taking the photo and going on and uploading it to the Forza Live thingy because then you'll always have the watermark and you don't want the watermark on the whole thing for just to make it look more clean now we have done the Forza part of the whole thing so I'm gonna use the quick way of exiting the game I'm just gonna close it up now what you want to do is either if you add it on your phone you want to somehow get your image your screenshot from your pc to your phone or if you do it on pc you just open up your lightroom and mine is on german now i'm very sorry but you will find the same buttons just with other um, names on them and i'm, and I'm gonna uh, translate it as good as i can you're gonna want to click down here on import and now the left side is going to be blurred because I don't want you to see all my files. Now you go to the um, folder that your screenshot is saved in. In my case, this is the folder. And now every uh, photo is marked. Simple, you can either click down here on uh, remove selection, I believe it should be in English. Or you just gonna untick that box up here and then you have nothing selected anymore. 
What should we? I have a lot of screenshots. Yes, I'm gonna go all the way down here. This is the screenshot I want because it is the newest one, even though it hasn't loaded yet. Now they are coming. They are all loading now. And this here, I can assure you, is the one we want. Here we go. That is the one we took. I'm gonna click here on import, and it's in. Now. All of that does not have to be done on the phone. If you do it on the phone, there's a, a simple way of doing it. You go into your gallery, you go on the photo and press share and then add to Lightroom. If you try to import it via Lightroom, so opening up Lightroom and then bring the photo in, it is most certainly not going to pop up. So you want to go into your gallery and sh use the share button and then import to what I'm gonna do here is go on to the second tab which is in English I believe develop could be that is the exact translation um, you want to go there and there you have your image now on the right side here there's pretty much exactly what you have on the mobile version of the whole thing which is pretty much all you need the presets here on I have made some for um, certain games, but those are not important now. I'm not gonna use any of that on the left side. I'm just gonna use the right side. Disclaimer, I am pretty new to the whole Lightroom thing. So if there's things I don't know and you know better, feel free to tell me in the comments. What I like to do is open up the first tab here and go down here to Clarity. Clarity pretty much brings out the highlights of the whole thing. It is what you would normally imagine contrast does, but contrast, if I might show you right here, just pretty much makes it darker and um, gives it more colour. But you don't want the darks to be darker and the brights to be even brighter. You want, you don't want that. So I'm going to just going to remove that again. So we have the blank image again. What you want is to up clarity. I'm going to show you what it does. It brings out the highlights, but it does not decrease the brightness of the darks and doesn't affect saturation as much as contrast does. So you want to up clarity a little and you already see the, the image looks way more realistic. I'm just going to quickly hey yeah as you can see the image already looks way more realistic in t uh, in it in comparison to the before because you have just all those details that you have in real life are more present now because for that it's not real life and it doesn't have as many details shown and if you up clarity a little then you already have more details and shots. And that is pretty much all you need for a photo to look more realistic in terms of Lightroom edits. What I like to do is lower the contrast a little, lights, um, depths, whites and uh, blacks all up a little and then the brightness down a little as well. So there you have the photo. You can always work with structure as well which is pretty much um what uh, which is like um clarity number two i i'd like to keep it on zero though though you can up it a little sometimes it helps with um realism sometimes it just does nothing but i'm just gonna keep it there and ah no stop it and also what i like to do is saturation a little down to make it less oversaturated now a little tip that I have been taught by a friend, if you go into the colors tab, this is pretty much what you will see in Lightroom as well. When you go into the colors tab where you can change the temperature of the image, then on the on the top right is a little button. If you press that, this is going to pop up. You have red, you have orange, you have yellow, green, um, cyan, you could call that cyan blue, magenta and uh, a purple and magenta. Now, if you look at the car, it does look a little blue, and that is because of the sky reflecting on it. If you don't want that, 
thing to be little, a little bit blue. Then you just go to blue, saturation, and turn it down a little. Not too much, just a little so the car doesn't look as blue as before. Now, the following part is going to be <coughs> focused on for the mobile users on Polar. So, for the mobile users, you now want to export your file. You want to do that, then open up Polar, <coughs> pick your image of choice, which is the one you just edited in Lightroom. I'm gonna pop in a little um, screen recording from my phone now on the left to show you each step I'm gonna do here in uh, Lightroom on Polar, so all of you can also follow that. Here on the PC, we're now gonna select the radial filter, which is also what you wanna do in um, Polar. There is also a radial filter, normally, already in there so you want to select that and now look at the image in my image we have the right side of the car brightened up while the left side is rather dark you can also see here's a lot of light on this side and here's it's rather dark so what I do I want to do I want to add a radial filter over here and now this tab here is related to the radial filter as you can see, if I raise light, all of this part is going to light up. But we want this part to light up. So we're going to press this down here, select that, which is going to invert the whole thing. It's called invert in English. So we have the whole thing now lightening up this side. So I've made a preset here that is called sun. And that is pretty much going to add sunlight. You can copy my settings here if you want to. but on Polar now, I'm gonna pop up the um, screen record for my phone again. You just wanna add the radial filter in here, invert it as well, and then raise brightness, um, depths and blacks, reduce contrast a little, and that is pretty much all you can do there. But it still looks realistic, it looks close to this. You maybe wanna move it a little out, a little in, depends on what you want um, for the filter to look like. But that is pretty much all you want to do. Also on the phone, if it's white, which probably looks a little better here. So if I go down here and make it and make it white, it's probably gonna look a little better. I'm just gonna reduce here a little and turn up the brightness again. So we have a little more realistically that fits more into the whole scene. And then all you wanna really oopsie. And then really on what you want to do is position it the way you want it to have to be so it's not too much and not too little of that flare. So you have your sun now. Now on the PC what you want to do is just drag another sphere here and this does not do anything yet. The phone, I'm gonna pop in the screen recording again, you want to add a new radial filter which I'm now going to drag with the center towards the center of the other one and then size up so it pretty much covers the whole uh, a lot of the photo so just areas in the other corner pretty much away from the sunlight are out of this circle this time though you don't want to click invert because you want the effect to appear on the outside of the circle. I have again made a preset already called shadow and now just again I have to move this a little until I like it also play with the feathering a little so it looks more realistic. Now there we go. Um, that is also possible on the phone by the way you can always play with the feathering of the whole thing and I would advise you to do that so it looks realistic for example if I have it here back on 50 it's very dark pretty far towards the inside now here you can see the area of effect that's going past the car and we don't want that so I'm going to turn that feathering down not to that low but about 15 in this case and you will see it does not affect the car's side. So we have the shadow on the left and not affecting the bright side of the car. So it looks realistic. Those are the things I do. You now know exactly how I make my photos and you could technically 
replicate them one by one. But I want I'm not doing those videos here to make you to show you how to recreate my stuff. I do those videos to encourage you uh, to, to show you the basics and to encourage you to use other things. And that's pretty much it. I hope you all have a lot of fun editing your photos with Lightroom or Lightroom and Polar when you're on the phone. And as said, you don't need to buy Lightroom now on the PC. You can easily do it on your phone without paying a single dollar, pound, euro, whatever. And with that, goodbye and see you next time when we're doing stamp set.